Welcome to Product Master Tech Talk for 1997. Hi, I'm Doug Hawkins, Buick Service Development Manager. In this Tech Talk segment, I'm going to be joined by Buick Service Development Managers Tom Coons and Tom Haas to review a number of key Buick and GM technologies. Tom Coons will provide an in-depth look at engine performance and the various elements that impact performance, including horsepower, torque, and vehicle weight. Tom Haas will review the Buick DynaRide suspension system, one of the keys to Buick ride and handling, and a Buick exclusive advantage. Finally, I'll review Buick safety with a focus on occupant protection systems. Tech Talk is an important element in Product Master. Today's buyers are more knowledgeable about cars, and they spend more time reading and researching, and as a result, ask more technical questions. Therefore, it's more important than ever to understand and be able to present Buick technologies. When you can explain Buick technical advantages in credible terms that customers can understand, you increase your odds of winning their confidence and their business. Now it's time for us to get down to business with Tom Coons and Engine Performance. Many of today's customers measure performance by looking at a car's horsepower rating. Wrongly thinking that horsepower alone determines how a car will react when you put your foot on the gas. What they don't understand is that horsepower is only one component of the performance equation. In this Tech Talk segment, we're going to look at the entire performance equation, which includes a number of key measures, horsepower, torque, and the respective curves and vehicle weight. Horsepower, quite simply, determines a car's top speed, the rate at which a car moves. Torque, meanwhile, is actually what you feel when you put your foot on the gas. Torque is what you need in stop-and-go city driving and provides you with low-end acceleration, like what you need when merging onto a freeway. The weight of a vehicle also affects performance since the heavier vehicle will require more torque to get moving and more horsepower to reach its top speed. Now let's look at a real-world application. The new architecture of the Park Avenue Ultra has the potential to attract a lot of import buyers. So how do you respond to a prospect who just left an Infiniti showroom impressed with the power of the Q45? The Infiniti does enjoy a significant edge in horsepower and is almost dead even with the Ultra and torque. But let's introduce curb weight into the equation. When we look at the comparative weight to torque ratios, we discover that pound for pound, the Ultra actually enjoys a performance edge with a lower vehicle weight to torque ratio, 13.9 versus 14.3 foot-pounds of torque. Now let's look closer at the performance characteristics of these two engines. As you can see, both the Infiniti V8's horsepower and torque ratings peak at higher RPMs than the Ultra V6. This means that the Infiniti engine is working much harder and potentially noisier when operating at peak performance. Remind customers that most cars don't operate continually in these ranges. So while the Q45 might appear to enjoy some significant performance advantages, it may actually be more sluggish than the Ultra because of vehicle weight and the higher RPMs required to reach peak performance. Let's look at another characteristic of torque smoothness of acceleration, a Buick trademark. Let's use the 3800 Series 2 V6 as found on Le Sabre against the Mercury Grand Marquis, which employs a larger V8 overhead cam design. You might assume that all V8 engines offer smooth acceleration, but this isn't true with many new overhead cam designs. The torque curve of the Grand Marquis 4.6 liter V8 dips and rises as it accelerates. If you look at the torque curve of the 3800 V6, you'll notice that as the pushrod V6 increases its RPMs, it charts a straight line, meaning that it accelerates smoothly. So while the Grand Marquis engine enjoys a clear torque advantage on paper, Buick holds the edge for customers looking for smooth performance. Furthermore, you can point out that the LeSabre offers superior city and highway fuel economy estimates. Buick V6 engines also offer proven technology and a simple design with fewer moving parts 
to break down with easier, less costly repair. Don't hesitate to mention that because of its overall engineering and excellent low and mid-range torque characteristics, Ward's Auto World has placed the 3800 Series 2 V6 on its list of 10 best engines for 1996. Remember, there's more to performance than engine size and horsepower. Present the balanced Buick performance story and get your customers into the car so they can experience it firsthand. Buick Dynaride suspension systems were introduced in 1989 and today they remain one of the most recognized suspension systems in the industry, providing a unique combination of smooth ride and excellent road isolation, yet crisp and responsive handling. But perhaps most importantly, Dynaride systems are exclusive to Buick, which is a very sellable Buick competitive advantage. It also is a competitive advantage that many of our customers and salespeople don't fully understand. So in this Tech Talk segment, we're actually going to give you two ways in which to present Dynaride to your prospects who express interest in Buick suspension. Dynaride systems are comprised of a number of different components. Front stabilizer bars to control sway and body roll strut mounts and bushings tuned for ride smoothness, springs, computer selected for each individual car, and tire sizes optimized for ride quality. But the heart of the Dynaride system is deflected disc strut valving. For your less technical customers, you can explain that the difference between conventional strut valving found in many competitive vehicles and the valving found in Dynaride suspensions is like the difference between an on-off light switch and a dimmer switch. With conventional valving, you essentially have two choices. You can tune the suspension for firm handling or you can tune the suspension for a smooth ride, on or off like a conventional light switch. Dynaride provides a suspension that offers both firm handling and smooth ride so you get the best of both worlds. Just like a dimmer switch allows a full range of settings. For the more technically minded customer, here's how you can present the Dynaride advantage. When a wheel with a normal shock absorber hits a bump, the wheel responds and dampening oil is pushed through a one-way valve. The suspension rebounds and the oil is forced back through the return valve. It's the action of this oil being forced through the valves that helps the suspension absorb road shock. As you can see, with conventional valving, there is only one weight of oil flow. The valve is either open or closed. With this sort of strut or shock absorber, a decision must be made. You can tune for firm handling and sacrifice soft, smooth ride, or you can tune for a soft, smooth ride and sacrifice firm handling. Deflected disc valving, meanwhile, is multi-dimensional. Its design allows it to be tuned for both a smooth ride and firm handling. Instead of the simple one-way check valves, Dynaride struts feature a pyramid-shaped stack of flexible discs of varying thicknesses and diameters, assembled to make a valve. The result is that you have a valving system that, like a dimmer switch, is tunable anywhere on the operating curve. With Dynaride, when a wheel hits a small bump, the dampening oil actually bends or deflects this first disc only. When the Dynaride suspension rebounds, the dampening oil returns through the second set of discs. On bigger or more severe bumps or potholes, Dynaride keeps the suspension from bottoming out by actually increasing the suspension stiffness. Because of Dynaride, Buick's feature a premium blend of smooth boulevard ride and firm precise control. Essentially there is no compromise for either smoothness or handling throughout the entire operating curve. And that's Dynaride. Unique to Buick and standard on all Buicks except Riviera and those equipped with Grand Touring Suspension. 
Take the time to explain Dynaride to your customers and make sure they experience it firsthand during a well-planned demonstration drive. Car buyers today have become much more aware and concerned about vehicle safety. So it's more important than ever to understand and be able to present Buick safety features to your customers. Essentially, there are two components to Buick safety, accident avoidance and occupant protection. The focus of this Tech Talk segment is occupant protection. But before we get started, let's highlight some of Buick's key accident avoidance features. Accident avoidance features include such items as analog brakes, which facilitate stopping and maintaining steering control on slippery surfaces, and traction control systems, which help minimize wheel spin during slippery road conditions. Other accident avoidance features include daytime running lights, new on most Buicks for 1997, the center high-mounted stop lamp, side marker lamps, tinted windshield, all the features that help provide the driver with better visibility or make a car more visible to other drivers. For more information on accident avoidance features, consult your product manual or the 1995 and 1996 Product Master Tech Talk tapes. Now, let's turn our attention to occupant protection systems, many of which GM and Buick pioneered. In 1924, GM established the world's first automotive proving grounds with the world's first safety tests. GM was also the first manufacturer to offer airbags, introducing them in 1974 after some $80 million in research. Another GM safety innovation that has become an industry standard is the Hybrid 3 Crash Test Dummy, the most advanced crash test dummy available today. GM also has the only crash dummies in the world that simulate a pregnant woman and a small child. As a result of the Hybrid 3 development, safety engineers are now able to design safety belts and airbags that provide a higher level of occupant protection. Perhaps the single most recognized development in the area of occupant protection is the airbag. Yet, while airbags combined with safety belts represent one of the most sophisticated occupant protection systems available today, some customers have expressed concerns about the safety of deploying airbags. Recent articles about airbags impacting shorter adults and children in car seats, in particular, have caused concern. With respect to children in car seats, you need to remind customers that it is always better to secure a child restraint in the rear seat. While a forward-facing child restraint may be secured in a front seat, always move the seat as far back as it will go before securing the restraint. Finally, never secure a rear-facing child restraint in a front seat. For shorter adults who express airbag concerns, here's how you can address those concerns. First of all, GM and Buick airbags are among the most advanced and safest in the industry. GM has invested over 20 years of testing to develop an airbag system that minimizes injuries caused by airbag inflation. Steering wheel airbag covers and the airbags themselves are designed to guide the bag in the safest direction for the driver to reduce the impact on drivers sitting close to the steering wheel. GM and Buick also use a radial deploying airbag. What this means is that instead of deploying straight out at the driver, it actually deploys sideways, resulting in a less direct impact on the driver. All of these elements combine to reduce the force of a deploying airbag while still providing optimum protection. There are a number of additional features that combine with airbags to enhance occupant protection. These include crumple zones, dynamic side impact protection, and energy absorbing steering columns, all designed to preserve the integrity of the passenger compartment in the event of a collision. When you see a car fold like an accordion in an accident, it's by design. These folds and gaps seen here on the fender inside the engine compartment and these holes under the hood encourage the front end and hood to fold upon frontal impact. Front and rear crumple zones are designed into every Buick to help absorb the force of a collision, but they can also reduce the likelihood of airbag deployment in an accident. Airbag deployment is triggered by rapid vehicle deceleration, so while crumple zones absorb the impact of a collision, they also reduce the rate of vehicle deceleration. 
As a result, they had the potential to reduce the incidence of airbag deployment. For more information on airbag sensors in deployment, see the 1996 Product Master Tech Talk video. Remember, safety is an important Buick product feature and a competitive advantage. Make sure you take the time to tell this important story to your prospects who are concerned about vehicle safety. That's Tech Talk for 1997. If you're looking for additional technical information, refer to the 1995 and 1996 editions of Product Master Tech Talk or spend some time talking about Buick technical advantages with your dealership service manager. You'll discover insights to share with customers and give them more reasons than ever to drive home a new Buick.